Hello everyone. Today our topic is algorithm for the formation of bus inference matrix, which is very important in power system analysis. Okay, so before going into the content, we need to understand partial network. So partial network, it's a set of all unconnected branches of a network. Okay, so now the performance equation of a partial network can be framed in three frames called bus frame of reference, branch frame of reference and loop frame of reference. In this particular algorithm, we are using branch frame of reference. So this is the performance equation of a partial network. So before starting this, we need to understand what is a partial network and what is the performance equation. Okay, so now this is a partial network having how many buses? There are m number of buses are there and here 0 is the reference bus. Okay, so where E1, E2 and so on EM are bus voltages, I1, I2 and so on IM are bus currents. Okay, so this is a partial network. So for this partial network, if we add an element and a new bus has formed, then that case will be called as addition of branch. Clear? So that you can observe in the second figure. Here, P is an existing bus of a partial network and Q is a new bus. So that's why this case will be called as addition of branch. Similarly, addition of link. So how we can say that the element is a link? Because if an element PQ here, element PQ is connected between P and Q where P bus P and bus Q are existing buses of your partial network. So this case will be called as addition of link. Is that clear? So now E bus is a set, right? So that's why you are given with Clear. So now I bus is also a vector having um, I1, I2 and so on IM bus currents. Okay, so set of all bus currents and Z bus. What is the size of Z bus? How many buses are there here in this partial network? M buses. So the size of your Z bus will be M by M. Clear? So this is the details. These are the details about partial network, addition of branch and addition of link. Clear? So now with this idea, we are going to learn the algorithm for the formation of bus inference matrix. Now, we are considering the first case. What is the first case? Addition of branch. We are not considering addition of link in this video. Okay? We are considering addition of branch. Clear. So now what is happening before starting the derivation, we need to assume that the Z bus for our partial network is known. Okay. So this value is known for us. Clear. So now whenever you add a branch, that means a new node has been formed. So before addition of this Q, what is the size of Z bus? This is M by M, right? This is the size of Z bus is M by M. Now, if a new bus has been formed, now the number of buses has been increased by 1. So that's where the size will be now M plus 1 by M plus 1. So that added elements we need to find. So that procedure itself will be called as algorithm for the formation of bus inference matrix in the case of addition of branch okay so let us see. addition of branch so this is a partial network uh, uh, circuital diagram okay so this is the performance equation this can be elaborated in this way okay so in this case what we know we know this entire z bus okay so let me erase this line once okay so we are known with Z bus of size M by M. So 
up to here. Right, up to here, we know the Z bus matrix. Now, these are the added elements. Okay, so these two ZQ1 and Z1Q are equal, symmetrical. Okay, so we need to assume like that. So, given network is a symmetrical network. Okay, so these are all of diagonal elements and where ZQQ is diagonal element. Now, our aim is to find these diagonal and off diagonal elements. Okay, so now, let us see the procedure to find off diagonal elements. Okay, so this is our reference circuit. And okay, so now what we do, we connect a current source. Okay, we connect a current source at some random ith bus of a partial network. And we are going to find voltage at the new bus. There we can get the relation for the off diagonal elements. So, how that can be possible? Let us see in a detailed way. Okay. So, now, and what happened with the other currents here? Only IA is one per unit. So, have you seen any kind of current over any bus? No. So, all other currents are equal zero. Okay. So, based on this statement from this equation, what we can write? So, we can write like this. So, how we have written this relation? In this current matrix, in this current matrix, somewhere you are having the current IA, right? So, you are having current IA. Somewhere you are having. And because all other uh, bus currents are equal 0, there we can write E1 equal to, okay? So, row into column, right? Matrix multiplication. So, Z11 into I1 is 0. So, there is no need to write that kind of relation. So, somehow uh, in the first row, you will be having Z1I. Okay. So, that will be multiplied with Zi. Clear? There you get the first relation. Similarly, E2 is Z2I into I and so on EP and so on EQ relations. So, set of all these relations can be known as equation 2. Okay. So, in this equation, what you can observe? So, let me erase all the remaining lines so that we can discuss in a better way. Okay. Right. So, this is like a general kind of equation, right? So, where ZQI is what? I can be replaced by 1. Then, you will be getting the first of diagonal element of a new bus. Similarly, if I is replaced by 2, you will be getting the second element. So, that is why. So, if we can find this relation, okay, then automatically we are getting the relation for off diagonal elements. So, in this particular thing, what we are connected there, what is the value of current IA? IA is 1 per unit. If IA is 1 per unit, okay, so this got 1, right? So, now what is ZQI? That is off diagonal element which is equal to what? Z, sorry, EQ. Right? If we can somehow calculate EQ, then automatically we will be getting the relation for off diagonal elements. Okay. So, what is the aim now? We need to find the relation for EQ. So, if we got the relation for EQ, automatically we will be getting the relation for off diagonal elements. Okay. So, what is the statement that I stated at the earlier? We are connecting a current source at ith bus and we are going to calculate the voltage at qth bus. Okay. So, this is how the statement can be understood. Clear. So, now see the step by step procedure. Okay. So, the same network uh, I have called back here. Okay, so now for this element, okay, so here the voltage is what? EP with respect to reference EP and uh, the bus voltage at Q is nothing but your EQ, okay, with respect to reference. So, the element PQ voltage will be called as VPQ. So, whose voltage equation can be written as what? 
simple uh, circuits knowledge that is ep minus eq equal to vpq so from this relation we can write the relation for eq so if we can calculate eq then automatically that will leads to off diagonal but still is it that easy did you got the relation for vpq no now our aim is to find the relation for vpq clear so now what i am considering now i am considering the currents in the elements of the network shown in this figure expressed in terms of primitive admittances and voltages across the elements okay so here the notation is like pq is added branch rho sigma is existing elements okay so that is a set it's not a single element but of set okay so we all know i equal to y into v formula based on that formula we have written this equation 4 okay so now we have connected a current right i a value how much is i a value 1 per unit okay right so what what are the current that is flowing through element pq okay so p to q how much is the current flowing is there any current flowing no so i p q is what zero okay and if current zero is that mean voltage zero no okay so there is some voltage so we are trying to find the relation for the existing elements voltage so that is v rho sigma equal to e rho minus e sigma clear so rho sigma signifies the existing elements of your partial network okay so existing not elements but of buses okay right so now from this fourth equation simple uh, matrix multiplication ipq equal to what this row into this column okay if we write so we'll be getting this relation and what is ipq that is zero so we have equated that so from this relation we can find the relation for vpq so now we got the relation for let me erase all these lines okay so uh, we got the relation for what vpq clear so look at equation 3 so we got the relation for vpq right if we can substitute we'll be getting the relation for eq simple okay so but still what is vpq uh, sorry what is v rho sigma v rho sigma is what e rho minus e sigma right there you substitute this one okay we can even simplify this relation how we can simplify from equation 2 we can write like this no in the previous slide we have observed right ep equal to z pi into i a so in this relation if you replace p with q then what is the relation it will be z q i right so this can be replaced by z q i okay so this is z q i clear so now and what is ep straight away you can write because i a value what is i a value that is 1 per unit so that's why we can straight away write ep as z pi clear so the same relation we repeat here so here instead of e rho so instead of p here you substitute rho so that what you can write that is z rho i similarly instead of e sigma you can write z sigma i so this is how we can find the relation for off diagonal elements clear now it is a time to find the relation for diagonal element if you understand this part the other part that is the relation for diagonal element is very easy okay see how that can be done okay so now in this particular procedure to find the diagonal element of your z bus you need to find uh, you need to connect a current source not at the existing bus of your partial network but you need to connect that current source at the new bus 
Q with respect to reference. Clear? And you are going to calculate the voltage at that particular new bus only. There you can get the relation for diagonal electric. Okay. So now, and at this case also, all other bus currents are zeros. So that's why in the previous second equation, you have observed I here. Right? So instead of Q, you have observed I because in the previous case, you have connected a current source at I bus. Now you have connected a current source at Q bus. Okay, so here also instead of Q, you have to, uh, instead of I, you have to write Q. Clear? So the same second equation can be replaced like this. Clear? Now, call it as equation 5. And we already know that EQ as EP minus VPQ. Okay, and also this matrix IPQ I rho sigma is equal to so Y bus into VPQ V rho sigma. We already discussed this one in a previous slide. So now from this circuit diagram, what is the current that is flowing from P to Q? Is it zero now? No. So it is minus IQ. Okay, so IQ is flowing in this direction, right? So, that value is minus I1. IPQ is minus IQ, which is equal to minus 1. And also, we can write V rho sigma as E rho minus E sigma. Clear? Now, from this equation, okay? So, from this equation, we can write like this. IPQ equal to this rho into this column. Clear? But now, in the previous case, it was 0. But now, in this case, it is not 0, but is minus 1. Clear? So, now, from this relation, what you write? You write the relation for VPQ. Now, what you do? You substitute this relation here. That's it. Okay? So, you can observe the same here. Let me erase all these lines. Okay, so this is EQ relation. We just substitute VPQ relation. That's it. Still we can modify uh, like in the previous case. Okay, so instead of uh, V rho sigma what you write? You write E rho minus E sigma. Okay, because these are all existing elements. There are, uh, there is a possibility of number of elements. So, that's why it should be represented with a vector only. Okay. Where PQ is a single element. You can't write the vector. Okay. So, and from second equation, what we can write or from the fifth equation now. So, in the previous case, there is a second equation, right? So, from the fifth equation, what you can write? So, this is, uh, let us consider this relation. So, what is EP? EP is Z PQ into IQ. Same relation I have called back here. So instead of uh, P, what we are having in this equation? EQ. So what you can get now? That is Z QQ. And instead of EP, what you can write? Z Q PQ. Why? Because I PQ got 1 per unit, right? So that's why we can straight away write Z PQ plus rest of the equation will be same. Still, so here you can observe E rho, right? So E rho can be replaced by Z rho Q. Clear? Similarly, E sigma can be replaced by Z sigma Q from this equation. Okay. In this way, we can find the relation for diagonal element also. So, this is the algorithm to find the Z bus in the case of addition of branch. I hope you understand. Thank you.